Lily Latour as Mia, who does a freaking amazing job. She plays a seven-year-old. Row 18, plot 20. Hey everybody, welcome to Now It's Dark, I'm Jim. I have a movie review today. This is a movie called Run, Rabbit, Run. This was a movie on Netflix. Uh, it came out in January of 2023. It's an Australian film, but they do speak English, so you don't have to worry about subtitles if that is a trigger for you. This movie when I wrote my notes, had a 5.2 star rating. It has gone down to just five stars. And that actually surprises me because this movie was really, really interesting. Um, I do like movies that um, kind of mess with your head a little bit and you don't know necessarily where it's going to go. This was a horror thriller. It's about Sarah Snook playing a fertility, doc fertility doctor who believes firmly in life and death, but after noticing the strange behavior of her young daughter, she must challenge her own values and confront a ghost from her past. Uh, the director is Diana Reed, the writer Hannah Kent, starring Sarah Snook as Sarah, Lily Latour as Mia, who does a freaking amazing job. She plays a seven-year-old uh, in this. I'm not sure if she is actually seven or what, uh, you know, age she is, but uh, really, really great. She did so good. I was really, really impressed. Neil Melville plays Albert. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, nah, nah, nah. Um, yeah, so... The mother, it, it kind of reminded me of a feel for, like, the Babadook, but not nearly uh, as annoying as that kid was in Babadook. Um, but Sarah is the mother. Her mother has, like, dementia, um, and she's in a home. Mia is the little girl. And there, and I'm really going to do this as spoiler free as I can because, like, it's interesting how the story plays out with Mia. Um, Mia starts acting very peculiar, um, and the mother is just like kind of really thrown off by it. She doesn't understand what's going on. The mother uh, has some pretty intense things going on in her head as well. Um, oh, I even wrote down that it uh, reminded me of the Babadook. Um, but I love movies that show like progressive descent into madness. That's what I call it. But the mother, you know, we see her at, at the beginning of the film and then uh, as she's just getting worn down, worn down, um, she starts losing it and we get more of the backstory revealed of why the mom's got this stress thing going on and why Mia's peculiar, um, her peculiar way of speaking and talking and, and what she says. Uh, I'm not going to give any of that away because it's, it's very vital to the story. And then the interaction on two different occasions with the young girl Mia and the grandmother, and I didn't write down her name, Joan, maybe Grandma Joan, yeah, um, are really, really good. But this little girl's performance, I really look forward to seeing uh, her hopefully do more horror. Um, there's, there's few child actors and actresses and kids, you know, that can pull off doing, like, real creepy horror vibes. Um, but it's really, really good. I highly recommend it. It's a thriller right to the end. It says it's a horror thriller. There's not really... There's, like, a lot of suspense, and it's it's a thriller. Um, but it, I highly recommend it. If you have Netflix and you haven't checked it out, like, if you've been on the fence, um, check out Run, Rabbit, Run, and let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. Come back and, and leave a comment. That's your uh, homework. If you've already seen it, let me know in the comments down below what you think. 
But um, yeah, really, really good Australian movie from January of this year. Uh, really, really good. I don't watch a lot on Netflix, um, so I might be missing out on other really good films like this. Um, but thanks for tuning in to today's review, and keep checking back the channel for more great videos.